how can we transfer data between two AWS EC2 instances without filling in the password. I want to copy the data securely from one EC2 instance to another EC2 instance. Both are running Linux operating system, right? So how can you transfer data from one system to another instance without filling in the password? Or how can you connect from one instance to another instance in the same secured shell securely? How can you connect on how to configure passwordless connection between two or more AWS EC2 instance? In this video, I have taken two EC2 instances. If you remember, I am going to use the same AWS free tier account. How to create a AWS free account? Then you can watch my another video which has uh, described this in detail. Right. So let us start. I have two instances. These are the two instances. I am going to select these. Right now these are on stop state. I am going to instant state. Start instance. These are going to start in couple of minutes. And please I am going to reiterate whenever you are practicing in free tier account or just for learning purpose using AWS console then whatever service you are going to use after using that service please please turn it into stopped state or check the documentation whether that service supports stopping or you will have to terminate to avoid cost here also if you have noticed I have stopped these instances now I am running again these instances now these states are running let me connect to these two instances from my putty right for this video I am going to use mobax another software maybe I will create a new video for this you can use this mobax term free version of this is available okay so I'm connecting to this you can use putty also for explanation on putty you can watch my other videos how to use putty how to use putty gen you can watch my those videos as well it is trying to connect so this is the command which we are going to run ssh key gen this is the command right and this is the public private key it will generate generating public key overwrite because I have already one so I will overwrite this now if you see it has overwritten the previous one and it, it has given your identification has been saved in this particular thing public key has been saved in this right so what we will do is we will copy this public key into other instance and when we are going to connect to that instance from this instance it will allow right so first let us see what is there in this public key so I am going to go there home ubuntu dot ssh ls hyphen n by first clear then cat id dot pub so this is the identity this is the file public key which I have to place into another instance to whom I want to connect from this instance right first copy this go to another instance again clear clear this right and let us see now where we want to store it we have to go to again this home folder now I think we are at the home folder only yeah we are at the home folder inside this we will have to have dot ssh and ls we will create cat of if I look at this this is the content of this file right now what I will do is I will vi authorize key insert and 
I will paste the copied content here right now if I go to save this now I can go to this instance I will try to SSH Ubuntu at the rate 14 sorry 44201 now let me connect SSH Ubuntu at the rate now I have copied earlier I was copying the wrong IP address now it says are you sure you want to configure continue connecting I will say and please press yes otherwise it will say failed right now I will try again I will have to enter yes warning permanently added now I have connected to this particular IP now I can see that ls hyphen l pw d right or whatever file I am going to create here it should be visible there also let me see ls or I will create cat file on instance I will say one right okay sorry I will have to touch touch now if I say ls hyphen l you can say that file on instance one now I will go to this instance I will say ls hyphen l you can see that right right now I am on the another instance if I click exit you can see that connection to this closed right and if I now ls hyphen l or if I come to this now these are the other files same way I can connect from other instance also now what should be the process I will leave this to you so that you can practice and you let me know in case you are not able to connect I hope you will be able to connect I am looking forward for your comments and feedback in the comment section of this video you can contact me on my social channels also LinkedIn YouTube or Twitter also I have a website also which I am going to redesign very soon right so you can find interesting blogs also in case you want to collaborate with me please feel free to ping me on social network LinkedIn or YouTube in the comment section of any of my video and I will try to connect with you the one thing which I forgot to mention that please stop these instances as soon as you are done with your practice you can terminate these instances as well so for now I am going to stop these instances because I may use these instances in future there is no charge to keep these instances running there is no charge to keep these instances in stopped state so thank you so much and hope you have been liking my videos please subscribe and like these videos and uh, I'm going to come up with new videos on AWS lot of topics are there which I need to cover see you in my next video thank you